Stephen Boyd, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Whether you hold a cherished memory associated with him or have a favorite work close to your heart, his contributions are hard to ignore. We invite you to share your personal experiences and stories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel a tapestry of funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic Hollywood actor. Keep watching for a journey through intriguing moments in his career. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Stephen Boyd? We would love to hear your stories. Stephen Boyd, a distinguished actor, left an indelible mark on the film industry through a versatile and accomplished filmography. Born in 1931, he embarked on his acting career in the bustling realm of Hollywood, making significant contributions to the cinematic landscape. One of his renowned projects is the epic film Ben-Hur, where he portrayed the charismatic antagonist Masala. This iconic role showcased his acting prowess and solidified his presence in the annals of cinematic history. For those new to his work, this film stands as a must-watch, offering a captivating glimpse into his early career. His legacy extends beyond historical epics, and he showcased versatility in the suspense thriller Fantastic Voyage, where he played the brilliant but troubled scientist Dr. Dougal. The intricately etched character and the film's groundbreaking premise make it a must-watch for those intrigued by his range. In the complex realm of war dramas, Boyd delivered a compelling performance in The Man Who Never Was, a film based on real events during World War II. His portrayal of an intelligence officer adds depth to the intriguing narrative, making it another recommendation for enthusiasts exploring his filmography. For a taste of his later work, The Bible in the Beginning offers a captivating journey through biblical tales. His portrayal of Nimrod adds an intriguing dimension to this epic, making it a noteworthy inclusion for those curious about his later contributions. In conclusion, his filmography is a testament to enduring talent with Ben-Hur, Fantastic Voyage, The Man Who Never Was, and The Bible in the Beginning. Standing out as must-watch movies. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to his work, these films offer a vibrant showcase of captivating performances in different genres, leaving an undeniable legacy in the cinematic realm. Stephen Boyd, the actor best known for his role in the iconic film Ben-Hur, faced significant struggles, including substance abuse and addiction during his life. Born in 1931 in Northern Ireland, he entered the world of acting and achieved recognition for his talent. His career reached its zenith with his portrayal of Masala in Ben-Hur in 1959. However, behind the scenes, he grappled with personal challenges, notably substance abuse. The pressures of fame and the demanding nature of the entertainment industry took a toll on him, leading to struggles with alcohol and other substances. The actor's battle with addiction had repercussions on both his personal and professional life. Substance abuse often hindered his ability to deliver consistent performances, impacting his career trajectory. Despite his undeniable talent, these struggles became a formidable obstacle. His story is a reminder that even those who attain success in the spotlight can face profound internal battles. Substance abuse not only affects the individual, but reverberates throughout their life, impacting relationships and career. In the face of these challenges, he sought support to overcome his addiction. However, the journey to recovery proved arduous. His struggles with substance abuse remained a chapter in his life, one that unfolded alongside his cinematic accomplishments. The complexities of addiction shed light on the human condition, revealing that even those with immense talent and achievements are not immune to personal hardships. His experiences serve as a stark reminder of the fragility inherent in the lives of individuals, regardless of their public image. In conclusion, Stephen Boyd's life was marked not only by cinematic achievements, but also by the battles he faced off-screen. His struggles with substance abuse and addiction provide a poignant illustration of the challenges that can accompany fame and success. His story serves as a reminder that behind the curtain of stardom, individuals grapple with their own internal struggles, striving to find balance and recovery. For his portrayal of Masala in Ben-Hur, Boyd underwent several noteworthy transformations. Initially, a beard was grown, only to later discover that young Roman tribunes did not traditionally have facial hair. Consequently, the beard had to be removed. Additionally, to match the decided brown eyes for the character, contact lenses were worn, concealing his natural blue eyes. Moreover, lifts and shoes were employed to ensure equal height, with Charlton Heston's towering 6 feet 2 inches. 
there exists some uncertainty surrounding his birth date. While reference works commonly state 1928 as the year of birth, obituaries noted him as being 49 years old at the time of his abrupt demise. Remarkably, the work in Ben-Hur earned him a distinction. He is among the seven actors who won the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture without receiving an Oscar nomination for the same performance. This exclusive group includes Millard Mitchell in My Six Convicts, Earl Holloman in The Rainmaker, Oscar Werner in The Spy Who Came In From the Cold, Richard Attenborough in The Sand Pebbles, and Dr. Doolittle, Richard Benjamin in The Sunshine Boys, and Aaron Taylor Johnson in Nocturnal Animals. These intriguing facets of the career highlight dedication to the craft and the challenges willingly embraced to bring authenticity to roles. Such anecdotes offer a glimpse into the meticulous approach of an actor whose versatility transcended mere performances. Discovered by Sir Michael Redgrave while working as a doorman at a London cinema in 1955, Boyd swiftly entered the film industry. His debut marked the beginning of a career that would take intriguing turns. Notably, close to the end of his life, he was under serious consideration for a role in The Wild Geese. Ultimately, the part went to Jack Watson. In a reflective moment during his final interview in 1976, Boyd expressed regret about dedicating much of his career to movies. He conveyed a desire to have explored more opportunities on stage and television. This candid admission adds depth to his career trajectory. These pivotal moments offer insight into Stephen Boyd's journey from an unexpected start in cinema to contemplative reflections on his career choices. Such revelations provide a nuanced understanding of the actor's perspective, shaping a narrative that goes beyond the screen. Following his breakout performance in Ben-Hur, Stephen Boyd faced a series of pivotal decisions that shaped his career trajectory. Departing from the cast of Cleopatra during early production alongside Peter Finch, he left significant roles in Antony and Caesar behind. Rejecting the part of Bowes in the story of Ruth further strained relations with 20th Century Fox. Stuart Whitman filled the role, but the film proved unsuccessful, leading to a screen absence for over 18 months. Despite the acclaim from Ben-Hur, his journey included missed opportunities, such as the lead role in a film adaptation of Mary Renault's novel The King Must Die, which never materialized. His career took an unexpected turn as he expressed regret about dedicating much of his time to movies during a reflective interview in 1976. Discovered by Sir Michael Redgrave while working as a doorman, he entered the film industry swiftly, marking the beginning of a career with intriguing turns. Towards the end of his life, Boyd faced another unexpected twist. While under serious consideration for a role in The Wild Geese, the part ultimately went to Jack Watson. His career choices, including a desire for more opportunities on stage and television, added depth to his narrative. This candid admission in his final interview offers insight into the actor's perspective moving beyond the screen. His story concludes with an unforeseen event his death from a heart attack while playing golf shortly after completing a guest starring role on Hawaii 5 0 in 1968. These facts, spanning missed opportunities, career reflections, and an unexpected demise, provide a comprehensive understanding of his impactful journey in the world of cinema. In 1995, Charlton Heston refuted claims by screenwriter Gore Vidal regarding a purported gay subtext in the film Ben Hur. Vidal asserted that the script was crafted with such implications, discussing the subtext with director William Wyler. Boyd, who portrayed Ben Hur's friend and later nemesis Masala, was said to have been aware of this subtext, shaping his scenes accordingly. Heston, unaware of this, later disclosed that Vidal was dismissed from the project after writing just one scene. Vidal countered by presenting excerpts from Heston's 1978 journal, The Actor's Life, where significant contributions to the finished screenplay were acknowledged. Facing a near-death experience during the severe flu epidemic in London in 1952, Boyd attributed the substantial commercial failure of the fall of the Roman Empire to adversely impacting his movie career. His journey encompassed unexpected twists, from surviving a health crisis to grappling with controversies surrounding a classic film. These facets shed light on the intricate dynamics that influenced his path in the film industry, underscoring the challenges and controversies he navigated. Each incident, whether personal or professional, played a role in shaping the actor's narrative, revealing the nuanced layers of his journey in cinema. 
Initially considered for the iconic role of James Bond 07 in Dr. No, he narrowly missed becoming the suave British spy. A noteworthy turn of events that could have reshaped his career and left an indelible mark on the Bond franchise. However, the coveted role eventually went to Sean Connery, setting the trajectory for the iconic spy character. Boyd's involvement in Cleopatra was equally significant. Initially cast as Mark Antony, he navigated the tumultuous production environment, facing numerous delays. Eventually, circumstances led to his departure, paving the way for Richard Burton to step into the role. This shift marked a crucial juncture in Boyd's career, as Cleopatra became a monumental production in Hollywood history, and the casting changes contributed to the film's enduring legacy. These two pivotal moments, the near miss with James Bond and the departure from Cleopatra, provide a glimpse into the alternate paths that could have shaped Boyd's cinematic journey. The intricate web of decisions and circumstances surrounding these opportunities adds layers to his narrative, showcasing the delicate balance actors navigate in the ever-evolving landscape of the film industry. Stephen Boyd's cinematic journey was marked by pivotal decisions and missed opportunities that shaped his career trajectory. Following his breakout performance in Ben-Hur, he faced a series of challenges, including departing from Cleopatra early in production, missing out on iconic roles like James Bond, and expressing regret about dedicating much of his career to movies. A near-death experience during a flu epidemic and controversies surrounding films like The Fall of the Roman Empire added layers to his narrative. His involvement in Ben-Hur earned him a Golden Globe distinction, but he joined a select group of actors who won the award without an Oscar nomination for the same performance. His unexpected demise while playing golf in 1976 concluded a journey marked by twists and turns. The controversies, missed opportunities, and candid reflections provide a comprehensive understanding of his impactful journey in cinema, shedding light on the intricate dynamics that influenced his path.